Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, at this point, I'm assuming that most of you guys have heard about this absolutely insane event that's going to be dropping on Global uh, tomorrow, actually. And before it comes out, I want to make sure that all of you guys are fully aware of exactly what this event is and what to uh, expect from it. Okay, so with that said, let's jump right into it. This is, of course, the event I'm referring to, the Dokkan All-Stars Extreme Z Battle. And unlike other Extreme Z Battle events that we've seen so far, uh, you're not getting any Extreme Z Awakening medals to Extreme Z Awaken a unit here, but what you are getting is a ton of rewards, up to 277 Dragonstones, uh, so many potential orbs, I don't know exactly what the number is, we'll check in a second, but it's enough to rainbow multiple units, uh, tons of Kai's, tons of Zenny, and all that good stuff. And uh, even though most Extreme Z battle events have up to 999 levels, you're not really meant to complete all those levels, right? Whereas for this one, you want to complete all 999 levels because on the last stage, you're getting 77 out of the 277 Dragonstones, and there are useful rewards throughout the entire thing from level 1 to level 900. And 99. Now, of course, this is not something that you're supposed to complete within, you know, a couple of hours or a couple of days or even a couple of weeks. But I know that there will be some crazy people out there that just no life it for like one to two days and get it done all at once. But it's not something I really recommend. Okay, so yeah, um, why don't we jump into the levels here? And it's gonna be hard for me to you know, go through every level. We're gonna be basically just scrolling through everything. And uh, as far as the weakness goes, uh, it says various here because it changes every couple of levels or so, or it depends on like the actual category. But uh, the first weakness is DB Saga. And it also happens to be the theme of the levels. So starting from level one, you're facing this little kid Goku. And then we have Bulma for levels three and four and then Roshi for 5 and 6, and so on and so forth. And as you're going through, you're getting Dragonstones, you're getting some potential orbs, and I'm going to very quickly scroll through here. Like I said, it's impossible to refer to every single enemy, every single character, but you guys get the point. We're getting stones, orbs, fighting baby saga enemies, and this goes up until level... 108 okay so between levels 1 to 108 it's db saga that is the weakness but keep in mind that you're not required to bring any specific category um for this event you can actually use just your strongest team if you want to and from what i've heard at least for the first like five six even 700 levels it's not too bad so most people can probably just get away with using um, you know, a category team of their choosing and uh, get through a good amount of the event. But maybe near the end, you'll have to use these specific categories. And the reason that I said that is because I know some people were immediately thinking, yo, how am I supposed to find that many DB Saga friends or World Tournament friends or, you know, heavenly event uh, friend leaders, right? It's almost impossible. The friend system sucks. So you don't really have to worry about that too much. But uh, yeah, if you want to, you could use, you know, each of those categories, but it's not really required for the entire event, actually, but especially for the first couple of hundred. OK, so DB Saga is first and then we move into World Tournament for levels 109 to, let's see, uh, 130. And as you can see, more stones, more potential orbs. And that's about it. And then we're moving into pure Saiyans. And this one should be really easy to, uh, you know, build a team for. Because obviously, there's a lot of pure Saiyans units. And also a lot of pure Saiyans leaders out there, right? So, uh, pure Saiyans goes from 131 to level, let's see here, uh, 172. And still, more potential orbs for every level. Uh, Dragonstone every couple of levels or so. It's not really consistent. So for some categories, it's like every two levels. For some, it's every three levels, every four, and so on and so forth, right? 
And then we have Planet Namek Saga for levels 173 to level, uh, let's see here. Uh, there's a lot of levels actually for this one. So this goes all the way down to level 242, ending with the uh, full power Frieza fight right there. And yeah, for the most part, you know, the category that is uh, effective also refers to the you know theme of the enemies, but it's not always the case, as you will see a little bit later. So from there, we have Heavenly Events, which starts from level 243 and ends at level 258. And then from there, we have Android slash Cell Saga, which starts at level 259 with the Mecha Frieza and ends at level... Let's see here. Oh, by the way, you might have also noticed that every 100 levels, you'll be getting three Grand Kais as well as three uh, Hercule statues too. So yeah, uh, for this category, we are ending at level 340 with the Super Saiyan Trunks. Now, one thing I want to say is uh, mad props, a lot of respect to the person who had to put this wiki together because I would imagine it took a really freaking long time, guys. I mean, usually for these Extreme Z battle pages, it's like 30 levels, it's pretty standard, and you know, it's the same enemy essentially for the first 15 levels, and then it switches for, you know, the next 15, but it's not that complicated, right? But for this one, man, it's switching enemies every two levels or so, and uh, I just can't imagine how long it took to, to make this. So thank you, whoever you are who, who did this. Okay, so from there we have the Other World Warriors category, and that starts from level 341 with King Cold, and goes to level 354 with the Pycon fight. And then we have Majin Buu Saga, which starts at level 355, and ends at level... Uh, lots of levels for this one as well. And it ends at level 400. And... Oh my god, there's so many stages for this one. 400... And... No, I lied. 500. 508. With the Goku. Okay, so... Yeah, there's 150 or so levels for Majin Buu Saga, which is good, actually, because Majin Buu Saga is one of the um, strongest categories in the game, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, if you guys have a good Majin Buu Saga team, you shouldn't have any issues with all these stages. But that's gotta be... That's gotta be the, the biggest, like, category, or... I guess like most stages for one category in this event, at least so far, but probably overall as well. Okay, so from Majibu Saga, we move into GT bosses starting at 509 with the Oob and ending at 526 with the B Pan. Okay, and then we have, of course, GT Heroes, which starts at 527 and ends at. Uh, a lot more levels for this one, which is very considerate actually, because I think most people will have a much better GT Heroes team versus GT bosses, right? So yeah, this set of enemies will end at stage 632 with the uh, Goku. And then we have the next category, which is Shadow Dragon Saga. 633 is the first level and the last level is 668 with the Spirit Bomb Goku. And then from there we have Goku's family, starting at 669 with the Goku Jr. and ending at 688 with the uh, Goku and Vegeta Jr. And then we have Realm of Gods, which starts at 689 and ends at level 712 with the Vegeta and Bulma. And then we have Movie Bosses slash Heroes, which starts at 713 and ends at 746. I mean, imagine how long this video would be if I like referred to every single character in this event. I mean, it would just be impossible. It would be like an hour long video. But at the same time, I feel like it's almost a good thing that we don't get into too many specifics here because 
it'll make things a little bit more interesting when you're actually doing it yourself, right? So anyways, uh, that's movie bosses slash heroes, and then we have universe 6, starting from level 747 and ending at uh, 780 with the world's strongest nipples. Or sorry, excuse me, the universe's strongest nipples. And then we have Defenders of Justice starting at 781 and ending at 790. We have Future Saga, which starts at 791 with the trunks and ending at level uh, 836 with the Super Saiyan trunks. And a few more here before we are all the way through. We have Terrifying Conquerors. And this is only two levels with the baseball Yamcha, which was um, a really fun episode, actually. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, it was like a filler kind of thing, but um, yeah, fun episode. And as I said, guys, you know, not all the characters, um, you know, are in the same category as like the, you know, effective category for the stages. Uh, Yamcha is a prime example of that. But at this point, if you haven't noticed, uh, essentially what they're doing is going from the very beginning of Dragon Ball all the way to the end of uh, Dragon Ball Super, right? And in between we have Dragon Ball Z, we have Dragon Ball GT, and I think it's really awesome. You know, it's a bit of a nostalgia trip, if you will, although Super hasn't been out for that long, but um, as like a lifelong Dragon Ball fan, it's just really cool to have all of Dragon Ball encompassed in this one event, right? Uh, and last but not least, we have Universe Survival Saga, starting from level 839 with the Fit Boo, all the way to 999. We have some Gods of Destructions in there. We have, uh, you know, the participants of the Tournament of Power in there. Universe 6 is represented, of course. And uh, you guys can take a quick look. I'm not gonna, you know, name every single character here, but you guys get the point, right? Mostly, it seems like the Tournament of Power and, uh, you know, more orbs, more stones. Uh, the enemies get harder. And as I said, for the final level, once you complete 999, you're getting 77 Dragon Stones for that specific stage and a bunch of orbs, some extra rewards right there. And once you complete all 999 levels, you will receive 277 Dragon Stones. Yes, that's not a mistake, 277 Dragon Stones. Tons and tons of uh, Grand Kai's 27 of each type actually, three Elder Kai's, 27 Platinum Hercule statues, and three Diamond Hercule statues, which are worth 5 million each. These are worth 1.5 mil each. And then uh, it looks like enough potential orbs to rainbow 10 units. That's what it looks like to me, but I could be off about that. Um, it's a lot of orbs, man. It's, it's, it's a crap ton of orbs. That, that's, that's all you need to know. It's, it's more orbs than you can spend in a long time. And finally, uh, apparently for stage 300 specifically, you get some training items, some training locations, and a reversal medal, which is random but cool. And uh, I guess that's it, guys. That's all there really is to say here. Um, this is something, like I said, that you're supposed to take your time with, that you're supposed to just, you know, run a couple levels every once in a while or maybe daily. Um, it should take you quite a while to complete it. If you want to go crazy and do everything in a couple days or even in a week, which is still wild, then go for it. More respect to you, but <laughs> I think for me, this is something that I'll be streaming from time to time on the channel, and uh, hopefully we can get it done before... I don't even know, guys. Uh, before... Christmas is my goal. I must say before Christmas because I Not only is it gonna take a long time to get through the stages But I think that if I do too many at once, it's just gonna get really boring 
um, because, you know, at least for the first like six, seven hundred stages, we should just be cruising through them, right? So um, there's not really much of a challenge uh, up until that point. And yeah, I just feel like it would get really boring if I did too many at once. So I'm going to try to pace myself. I'm going to, you know, try to get it done within the next couple of months. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan to do with this event. Obviously, if you don't really know how hard it is, it's hard to say, right? But what's your plan? What's your goal right now? Just, just set one right now. Let me know in the comments. How long do you think it'll take you? Or how long do you want to take to complete this? And uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. So that is your Dokkan All-Stars Extreme Z Battle breakdown slash preview. Um, hope you guys are excited for it. This is basically the last... Um, I guess anniversary related event we're getting and uh, It's a good one. It's a good one. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video Thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video Sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.